I am here with the cast of Avenue Q and director Jim Hormel, who's going to give us a little bit of info on the show. Okay, well, Avenue Q is a Broadway musical. It's a Tony Award winning Broadway musical, which is still playing on Broadway. And it is basically Sesame Street if you continued watching it into your early 20s and all the things that early young 20 year olds should know about life. So it's a satire of early adulthood and political correctness. Lovely. All right. So now we're going to meet the characters. Uh, who are you? <laughs> well, I'm Catherine Monster. Well, most people call me Kate, and I'm a kindergarten teaching assistant Lovely. here on Avenue Q. Thank you, Kate. All right. Hi there. Hi. Hi. We're the bad idea bears. Yeah. But I don't know why they call mm -hmm. us bad. Yeah. All we do is make good ideas. Yeah. Like They're pretty great. Beer. Uh -huh. Party. Yeah. yeah. We're wild. Yeah. yeah. I really like the jello shots and the little orange oh, cups. Those are my the favorite. ones in the orange peels. They're oh, great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you, bears. Good to meet you. <laughs> Alrighty, and you look very prim and proper. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Princeton. I just graduated college and I have my BA in English and I'm looking for a place to live. So hopefully I can find a place here on Avenue Q. Great, and I wish you luck. Alrighty, and Lucy, your yes. necklace? My name's Lucy. I'm, I'm star of Girls Gone Wild parts two, five, and seven, and I work at the Around the Clock Cafe. I'm an entertainer of all sorts. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Lovely, nice to meet you. <laughs> all right, I think we have one more over here. Hello there. Uh, hi, um, I'm Nikki. Uh, I live with my friend Rod. Uh, he's my best buddy, you know, and uh, I don't really have a job right now. I was wondering, um, can you give me a quarter? When does the show open? Our show opens on uh, Friday, October 16th. Uh, we run two weekends, Friday and Saturday nights at 8 o'clock and Sunday matinees at 4. It's an under two hour show and it's highly, highly, highly entertaining. No one walks out without having a smile on their face. Okay, great. Can I ask you guys to do us a favor? Can you sing some, something from the show? <laughs> the songs are great. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah. The sun is shining, it's a lovely day A perfect morning for a kid to play But you've got lots of bills to pay What can you do? You work real hard and the pay's real low And every hour goes all oh so slow And at the end of the day there's nowhere to go But home to Avenue Q You live on Avenue Q you too. You are 22 and you live on Avenue Q. It's not really a show for children as you would think puppets would be. It's more about young adults and the lessons of the show are all about things that young adults go through with relationships, with jobs, with taking care of themselves. Um, so I think the best way, to, but it really also just satirizes the idea of political correctness and and maybe we should just talk about these things and, and, and make fun of them and not make them so serious. So the songs, for instance, the opening song when we're all trying to figure out what we're gonna do with our lives, the characters, is called It Sucks to Be Me. <laughs> and then we have a song about racism called Everyone's a Little Bit Racist. Yeah. Then we have a song about relationships called You Can Be As Loud As The Hell You Want When You're Making Love. Oh, yes. So, as you see, uh, the songs kind of run the gamut. But it's funny to hear those topics talked about in these light-hearted little puppet songs. So it's actually a really, a really funny and good show. And it does make a point. It does make a point about the fact that it, all people are the same and, and that you can, we can laugh at these things and they don't have to separate people. All different kind of characters live on Avenue Q, but they all kind of bond together and help each other. Great. Well, thank you all.